Nvidia earnings came in way hotter than I expected. And the biggest story wasn't the earnings beat, it was what Jensen Huang said about the so-called AI bubble. Let's start with the earnings highlights first. Nvidia reported 57 billion in revenue, up 62% year over year, and up 10 billion sequentially, which is absurd at their scale. Data center revenue hit 51 billion, a new record driven by AI demand so strong that Nvidia said, quote unquote, the clouds are sold out. Networking revenue surged 162%, powered by NVLink, InfiniBand, and their Spectrum X Ethernet. And yes, that does include their Quantum X networking line, which is now used in massive AI clusters. Their compute segment grew 56% with the new GB300 Blackwell chip already making up two thirds of Blackwell revenue. Gross margins are still in the mid 70s, even with rising input costs. Gaming, ProViz, and automotive all grew double digits. Now the market reacted mixed yesterday, but we are seeing a broad market rally today. Initial pop softened once investors noticed two things. Nvidia is assuming zero China data center revenue going forward. Inventory and supply commitments jumped sharply as they prepped for the Rubin cycle. Here's where the earnings call got interesting. Jensen addressed the idea of an AI bubble head on. He said from their vantage point, this is not a bubble. It's three platform shifts happening at once. First is moving from CPUs to GPUs for accelerated computing. The second is from classical machine learning, moving to generative AI. The third is moving from generative AI to agentic AI, essentially AI that can reason, plan, and use tools. He said these transitions are the first time since the dawn of Moore's law and that Nvidia is positioned across every single layer. That's why supply still can't catch up to demand. That's why cloud providers keep raising CapEx. And that's why Blackwell and Rubin together already have visibility of 500 billion plus in revenue through 2026. And they even called out early quantum adjacent infrastructure trends like accelerating networking with quantum X InfiniBand, the same fabric used in large scale HPC and AI supercomputers. It's not quantum computing directly, but it shows Nvidia is controlling the networking layer that quantum capable systems will rely on. So here's the bottom line. Nvidia beat across the board. Demand is still overwhelming supply and management is clearly telling investors this is not a short term hype cycle. It's a multi-year infrastructure build out. I'm still going to be watching to make sure these earnings support the broader market over the next few days, but undoubtedly Nvidia did come in super strong this quarter. If you want to receive real world financial content like this in your feed every single day, hit like and follow. This is not financial advice. Always do your own research before investing.